Hello, this is Manash Patel from IchimukuTrade.com. Today is August 3rd, 2014. This is our Ichimoku analysis for all the futures market where we cover commodity futures, oil, natural gas, heating oil, sugar, bonds, treasury notes, cotton, and so forth. It's been an exciting month for uh, futures, so de definitely get ready for the ride because there's been a lot of trends in this market compared to a lot of other markets out there. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, this is our normal disclaimer to state this is for education use only. We're not soliciting you buy or sell any particular instrument. If you do so, you're doing that at your own risk. All the charts you're going to see are basically from TradeStation, where you can find them at TradeStation.com. Here are our contact details here. You can basically go to IchimukuTrade.com. Uh, you could access any of our web resources there. We have email alerts. We have multiple time frame email alerts. You can access our blog there. You should definitely check out our blog because we have trades of the week there for all the markets. We also have a lot of live trades. Uh, we even uh, uh, published a multiple time frame selling soybeans uh, last uh, last week that worked out really well. So you can see these live trades before they even happen. Um, you could uh, you have access to free videos and multiple other things out there. Also take note that we do, if you go to the events page, we do have monthly webinars now for the heat map uh, where I'll be going in uh, doing live webinars to explain all the tools we have uh, and how to use them uh, to improve your trading results. Uh, you could contact us here at email here at info at eiicapital.com or you call us at any of our office locations here. Okay, so let's go get rid of this boring stuff and kind of go straight into our charts. Remember, uh, right hand side is the weekly chart, right left hand side is basically the daily chart. These support resistance lines you see are basically the weekly ones. Uh, the ones in the daily are the weekly too. It's just so that you can see them exactly where they line up on the daily time frame. Okay, so soy, we talked about this one here. And we talked about this being bearish. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we kind of pull, uh, took the uh, profits last week was we're getting down to some major supports on the weekly here. Uh, so we wanted to get out of them before and not carry it over the weekend. Uh, but you can see the support here is basically 50, uh, 1053. The major is the one that we broke uh, the last couple of weeks to tell us it's bearish is 11.45 uh, and then we got a multiple time frame email alert that was telling us it was breaking down so you could see this major trend here to uh, both on the daily time frame as far as the weekly is concerned it's not a major bearish trend at all in fact it's a bullish trend that basically is pulled back too much so now it looks like it's about to enter a consolidation pattern uh, we believe the bottom of the consolidation pattern is going to be roughly around 10.53 or 10.12 uh, and then the top of the resistance, which will be the top of the consolidation pattern, will probably be about 11.45 or 10.02. Or or we're not going to know what those values are completely until uh, time kind of moves forward and we can kind of see the chart. So every two weeks we'll kind of analyze that and see where we go. Soybean oil, you can see from the daily and weekly time frame, this is basically trending downwards, very, very strong uh, going downwards. Soybean meal, you could see here, nice bullish trend here. Finally done, going for a major pullback right now. Kind of needs to sit there and pull up uh, and start going back to resistance level here at 381. Uh, sorry, not th yeah, 381 slash 394, and then kind of test to see exactly what's going to happen here. Major support is going to be roughly right here at about 336. Corn. If you look at corn, this nice bullish, tra bearish trend here to the downside. We kind of broke the support level here at 357 and 5.8s. Next level is going to be about 323 and 2.8s. But this is a nice bearish trend to the downside. Notice there's a lot of trends that are happening on the on the future side compared to any other worldwide instrument. Uh, wheat also trending to the downside here. Looks like it's kind of stalling now here. Maybe it found a support level, uh, but it still looks like it's trying to go down. And, it, and uh, so we'll have to see exactly what happens. Major resistance level is going to be 569, uh, but you see a little hesitation here that's starting to happen. And you could see a minor resistance level, which is roughly about right, whoops, right here. Uh, so in order for it to start pulling back up. Uh, and get down to the uh, get up to the resistance level 659 sorry 5969 it's got to break the minor resistance level of 5, 541 I can't talk today 
Uh, next one's going to be oats. If you look at oats here, nice bullish trend here. Held the support level roughly around 418, 419. Uh, now it's trying to make a move back up. First minor resistance level is going to hit 356. Next one's going to be the 381, which is going to be the major one to dictate how strong this is as far as the bullish momentum. Cocoa, if you look here, bullish trend on both the daily and weekly and is continuing to go up. This is a nice little trend going up. Uh, not a lot of people have been noticing uh, this, not a lot of people have been talking about this, but this is definitely a major, major, major trend uh, to the top side. So I definitely keep an eye on this way moving forward. Um, looks like I just wanted to see. And there are resistance levels here, as you can see, it, uh, as it keeps on going up. There's a lot of resistance levels because if you look back in time, there's this one big mess of a consolidation pattern, which has established a lot of resistance levels that we're going to run into now. Uh, we're not quite sure which one's going to meet and match up, but throughout the week, we could look for multiple time frame resistance levels matching to see which one's going to be the critical one. Uh, next you have is coffee. Coffee, nice little push upward here. It's just to the top of the consolidation pattern, which is going to be about 210.72 here. You could see that. I'm going to shrink this down a little for you. So you could see that this is nice little bearish trend here. It basically pulled back to this level, which almost looks like a consolidation pattern if you don't zoom out. And if you zoom out, you can see that's basically a major pullback level here. The problem I have is that here, when it broke for this support right here, it should have sat there and continued to go down. It didn't, and it came back up here. And that's why we're kind of saying this looks like it's going to establish a consolidation pattern for a little while before it makes its mind up, whether it wants to break the resistance at 210 and go higher and break this bearish trend completely, or it wants to sit there and break this support here at 62.55, sorry, 162.65, and if it breaks that support level, it's going to retest the low and possibly go lower as a trend uh, in the bearish trend. So it's at critical levels now. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Orange juice really not doing anything exciting at all. Uh, held the support at 137, uh, resistance to 155. This is one we're definitely watching now, and we're looking to enter some possible trades in this rough rise. Uh, it's at a major support right now, 12.739, uh, and this you could see here, this is a consolidation pattern, and it's showing you signs of actually gaining momentum on the bearish side, so uh, we could really possibly see this thing breaking down this week, so we're definitely going to be, that's going to be on top of our, our priority list is to keep an eye on rough rice uh, and to see if it's going to break out and start a major trend. Um, Next one you have is sugar. This is basically being breaking down. Bears trying on both the daily and weekly uh, on that one. Crude oil here is just one big nasty chart. Held a support level of 90, uh, sorry, 98.11. Next one's 95.67. Resistance on this guy is going to be 101.99. Uh, but there's no real trends in that guy. So I'm not sure why people keep on talking about that. Natural gas here. Uh, you could see it a nice little movement up, pulled back here, held the support at 3.715. Now it's basically entering a consolidation pattern. You can't even really say this is a pullback because it pulled back too much uh, to a point, destroyed the daily and entered a bearish trend and also destroyed the weekly. So we're trying to figure out where now this is going to be the bottom of the consolidation pattern and the top. We believe 3.71, so 3.715 is going to be the bottom. And if it holds there, then we're going to see if one of these two levels here will be basically the top of the consolidation pattern. Uh, heating oil here, really not doing anything at all. Next supported level is going to be 2.8157 uh, and resistance is going to be 2.9615. Uh, gasoline here, really not doing anything at all. Bullish trend and then decided to consolidate during its pullback levels uh, and it's entered a major consolidation pattern now. And this is kind of almost almost coming up to close to two years of this consolidation pattern. But this consolidation pattern is slowly going up, as you could see here. After it did that, look at this. This is higher than that peak. This is higher than these. And these are slowly going up. So this is kind of critical here because it's maintaining these pivot lows going higher. So the support level is critical at 2.7422. Uh, so we'll have to continue to see what happens there. Cotton's been breaking down. You could see nice here. Broke the support at 65.56 and continue to keep on going down.
Next one, a lot of people are talking about is basically the dollar getting stronger. It is getting stronger, but it's running against a major resistance at 81.687. 81 uh, if you look at the daily, it looks like a nice trend going up. But if you look at the weekly, this is not a nice trend at all. This is a nice, ugly consolidation pattern that you're seeing here. And it looks like we're getting to the middle but that's not even quite the middle. The middle is right here. So there may be some more upside, at least to here to 81.687 uh, 81 for the dollar. Uh, but then possibly can sit there and go to 82.54 too. So definitely keep an eye on that one. Feeder cattle. Bullish trend on both the daily and weekly, nothing really to talk about. Live cattle, bullish trend on daily and weekly too. Uh, it's, both of them are extremely strong on this one. My, uh, my, Major support is going to be 153.9888. Lean hogs here. Notice this has been a weaker of all the live stocks that you have going on. So you could do pairs trade of feeder cattle, live cattle against lean hog. And you could do good percentage wise. And you can see here this is going for a pullback, but it looks like it's trying to pull back too far. The major pull, uh, support level that has to hold is 101.88. Next, you have our two year treasury notes. A lot of people have been talking about these, but I mean, if you look at it, it's still one ugly pattern here. This is a bullish trend, believe it or not, but it's ugly. It held a support here at 109,21, broke a resistance at 109,24, and getting to the top, which is 109,28. It notice we're saying it's getting to the top. It has not broken the major resistance, so I'm not sure why people are talking about these ugly patterns right now. Here's the five-year Treasury notes, same scenario. Looks like one big ugly consolidation pattern. You can see the resistance is 119,17, supports 118,20. Next, you have your 10 year. It's also doing the same thing. Nice ugly consolidation pattern, but slowly bullish. And then lastly, your 30 year, and you can see the same scenario too. So you have all these bonds slash notes that are basically exhibiting the same things where they look bullish in nature, but they're in the ugly consolidation pattern, believe it or not, which is slowly trickling up to resistance levels right now. Platinum, really not doing anything at all. Came up to here, didn't even quite reach our resistance level at 1529, and then came down and broke the support at 1473. Next support is going to be 1442. Since we didn't get to a resistance level and these peaks are slowly going lower, there is high probability that this thing is going to break down. So there's more momentum to the bearish side than bullish right now. So definitely keep an eye on this, but it has a high probability at least getting to 1442 uh, this week or next week. And then we'll have to see exactly what happens once it gets there. Gold be maintaining its support at 1287. Uh, and you could see. It's just one ugly thing that's going on, and the reason why is price is in this cloud. Until price gets out of this cloud towards the end of this year, it's going to be very, very hard to, for gold to possibly make a bullish trend move. Uh, so we'll have to see exactly what's going to happen. And you can see these peaks here, the high peaks are going lower, and these low peaks are going higher. So you have a merging consolidation pattern that's kind of happening right now, which is uh, sooner or later it's going to break one or the other. Silver, on the other hand, basically bearish trending and now consolidating at the bottom. The top bottom of this cloud is holding this, so that's showing you it's extremely strong. If it could break this support level at 20.159, then we're going to retest this low and have a high probability of, believe it or not, breaking that low, which is a multi year support for silver. Coffer. Really nothing going on here. Slowly trickling down, whether people will believe it or not. But this is slowly excuse me, moving down with time. So we'll have to see exactly what happens. Support level is 3.1483. Resistance is 3.3476. That's it for this week. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Please make sure you check out the website. For all the tools that are available. And sign up for the free webinar that's available too. Have a good week.